Hi guys, welcome back. Um, on this one I thought I'd stop to document uh, me making some imitation sandbags. Uh, I say imitation because I'm not going to be sewing them, stitching them like you would a uh, full 1-1 one -one scale sandbag. Um, I'm going to be cheating a little here and using glue I'm afraid, the old trusty Gorilla Glue. And um, I had a look online to check out the 1-1 one -one dimensions of a sandbag. And then I've kind of worked from those dimensions to drop it down uh, to a 110 scale sandbags. Um, it's worth noting that sandbags aren't really one size. They're from a certain size up to a certain size. So they vary in between. Um, so I've been messing with uh, different styles here on this little test sandbag wall. And uh, I think I finally got it down. I'm happy with this one. And the reason why is I've, I've not overfilled it, so it, it's got a bit of uh, give in it. So when you're making a wall with it, it'll fit nice and not leave gaps. Um, it was quite hard to get the, the neck of the bag because the material's quite thick. Um, this Hessian cloth uh, is very cheap. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for the eBay list uh, underneath. Um, it is a fine weave, however, it's not super fine. I would like to, uh, a finer Hessian weave than that, but I'm afraid uh, I can't find any on the net. But the, the for the width and the length, uh, I'm quite happy with those. And I'll just show you that compared to, say, one of the earlier thicker ones I've tried. And this one is quite a lot larger. You can see how the difference there, the size of them, the thickness and height. I mean, technically, these are both 110 sandbags. You could kind of get away with that. Um, the, this is the large dimension of a 110 sandbag. This is the small dimension of a 110 sandbag. But for when I'm stacking them and making a wall out of them, I'd, I'd be a bit happier, I think, if I can get a lot more, because I am I want smaller sandbags so I can have a lot of them running next to my uh, six, seven inch figures, and that way they'll be more, more realistic, I think, on camera compared to these larger sandbags here. Um, so after calculating the dimensions and messing about with, you know, the building process, this is kind of what I come up with and this is what I thought I'd share. What I've done is I've took a large piece of hessian cloth and I've chopped it into these rectangles here. Um, these are 95mm by 85mm rectangles and then out of these rectangles I've just cut a, a notch in the top left of the, the rectangle and that's about 25mm by about 19mm, 19mm deep and then 25mm wide. And uh, that's going to allow me, so when I'm rolling the bag, it'll allow me to make a neck for to tie off the bag. Um, otherwise, there'll be too much material and uh, I won't be able to create a neck on the bag. So um, the first thing of this is just to roll it into place. Uh, glue along the edge and then you know hold it down squash it down so um, I'll just show you how I roll it so I'd roll this one say something like this um, put that in the middle spin that round there get like a bit of a kind of ice cream wafer thing going down and then I'll run it something like this and that way, this this side is just overlapping the other side with the small notch, and it's kind of rolled around in there um, to give it a bit of support, the shape of the bag. And when I've glued along this edge now, straight down here, and then I took it over, it'll just overlap the other side nicely in a straight line. And then what I'll do is I'll glue that down and then just compress it down and leave it till it dries and then I'll go on to the next stage so um, I'll just glue this now and then uh, wait it and then once it's dry I'll show you how I'm putting the bottom of the bag together
So I let that dry under there and I've made a couple more here, about five of them here. Um, I've just left one template so I can kind of duplicate that on the bigger hessian cloth. Um, I'm not too upset with that seam, it's quite a decent seam co all considering it's not been um, it's not been sewn up there. If I look in the top, if you look in the top you can just see that this is the end here where there's been a bit chopped off. This is where the square is and this is a full end where there has been no chopping inside, that's a flat end. So what I'll do now is I'll glue along this end here and then I'll put it in the vise and let it set in the vise. So uh, I'll just glue this and show it you in the vise and then I'll do the same with all of the others and that way we'll start getting bags you see. So let me do that. So I've, uh, I did that one and I've uh, just done these two as well. Um, on this one you can see where I've uh, crushed it with the clamps there. Um, it gives you like this kind of sandwichy pattern, you know, sandwich maker pattern. And um, what I do with that is I just trim it off so I've got a nice line to about that, e that end. And um, what I'll do here is I'll uh, trim this down and trim these other ones down here. And then I'll just weigh how much this one weighs on these scales and then I can calculate the difference in weight between this one and the bag and then work out how much sand I need to keep using f to fill each bag and leave some space. Um, the sand density and weight should be equal throughout this bag I've got so uh, it should all match up quite nice. Um, so let's just trim these down and uh, start filling these bags I think Twenty point zero seven grams. So that is two and a half grams. So I need seventeen and a half grams of sand. So with that now packed into the bottom, I can now kind of just bend it into shape and then tie it up with a hessian string. Um, see, see how that looks, should be okay. And that is pretty much a sandbag. It just needs trimming down a little more to get the edges off it. to sit along next to the next one. I have something going down like that. So they are pretty uniform and uh, I'll start keep building those so you can check out one of the walls. Uh, I'll build with it. I'm trying to make it so it actually stops the water. Water running hits it and then runs down the side is my mission into a drain. Um, so if you do attempt uh, this sandbag, uh, making your own sandbags, uh, please give us a shout. I'd love to see uh, what combination of materials and things, methodology you've used on it. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate all your comments. Hope this is helpful to anyone who comes across it on the net. Um, thanks again. See you later.